Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So I have Green Terror's Neck over here completed and I will be shipping it out uh, probably either Tuesday or Wednesday because I have to make a run to the uh, UPS and do a few things that day. So what's going on with it? Well, it's complete. He wanted flat black, he got flat black and it's flat black all over the place. I ended up filling in all the holes so where the tuners are it doesn't look like Swiss cheese anymore and I even got the right screws for the tuner. I've got a bag of screws that I'm going to give to him because they were just mixed match screws. He probably didn't have the right ones and just used whatever he could find which is not a big deal. I've done the same thing too as long as they work. But I ended up putting in the right screws inside of here. Uh, the the retainer that goes or the sleeve that goes around the tuning post have been filled with uh, oak dowel rod and redrilled so now they are tight in their place and they're not going to come loose or fall apart or anything else put his Gibson on here which is kind of cool he's made it like look like there's some blood dripping his little inlay that he made over here I put back on truss rod covers back on the nut is we got the zero fret here and the nut is basically just holding the strings in place all of the fret work has been done on this thing it came out beautiful no sharp fret ends here I had to add new binding to this because the old binding basically just crumbled and uh, luckily I have some white and some black of the uh, material to make the fret markers in the binding and this is like really really smooth I got some low spots here that were close to the binding there's really not too much I could have done about that I didn't notice it until after I ended up doing the sanding but the rest of it and the bad thing about flat black is your fingerprints get all over it so it is ready to go there was a hole over here that has been completely filled there was some damage on this corner over here that has been completely taken care of there was some damage in one of the corners up here I don't even remember which one it was that's been taken care of uh, binding has been scraped so the paint is not on there when I ended up putting the paint the black on here and I did put a clear coat over the paint and sanding the clear coat with 1500 grit sandpaper to give it a flat look. The fretboard itself has been conditioned with feed in wax, thanks to Troy Wrecker. Stuff works really nice, I love it. The frets have been polished, leveled, crowned, polished, ends have been taken care of. I mean, it's just, it got the full treatment. Uh, the one thing that happened though is all right, so there's a difference between cheap tools and good tools, all right? So this was bought off of eBay, and I used it for cutting frets and pulling frets, and I broke, I broke it. It doesn't have a, you know, policy with it where if you break it, you know, you get a replacement, but yeah. So yeah, I broke this thing. And how I broke this, I mean, you won't believe it. The zero frets are made out of stainless steel, all right? And I measured out what I needed and was gonna cut the longer end off. And that's how I broke this. That's how I broke this. And uh, yeah, stainless steel, cheap tools. So I got a little bit of an unboxing to do as well. I ended up picking up some parts for the Jackson V, which come to find out it's like one of those shorter scale, like children Vs. And uh, I ended up picking up the right neck for it. So I'm gonna show that right now. Put this one off to the side. So I went on eBay, looked up the guitar itself to see what neck, because just it just, didn't look right. There was something going on where the body just looked like it was, it was miniature. And come to find out, well, that's what the guitar is. It's a mini. It's a mini guitar, kind of like for children or something like that. So I picked up the right neck for it. Boy, that fretboard is really dry, really dry. So it's supposed to be a used neck. And look at how tiny that is. Boy, that is small. Look at that 
compared to the other one. It is a used neck. It is in good shape. There is really nothing. Well, there is some very sharp front ends on this. Uh, the Jackson is in basically perfect shape. Oh, it still has the plastic over. Still has the plastic over the truss rod cover. The nut looks fine. I mean, couldn't ask for anything better. The only thing is, is uh, it says used. It's been stamped on the back over here. I got the tuners for this thing already, so I'm not worried or concerned about that. It's got a scarf joint, nice smooth neck. It does feel pretty wide, though. It doesn't feel you know, different or anything. This is, okay, it's stamped on the back, uh, 2002, and it's not twisted or anything. This is in perfect shape. So let me go get the body, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So all of these basically have a cover plate that goes on the back, and you got your four screws. So the four screws should fit in this thing just perfect. And as you can see, that's it right there. And then these four screws, they, the holes match up with no problems. There's no weird gap on the sides over here, nothing. So it's just a minion, I guess, guitar. And, you know, I'll be doing a little work on this, but I'll be working on the Dollar Kramer before I start working on this. All right, you guys, take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll catch up with you all later.